احمد وانا صلي على رسول الكريم اما بعد يس يس يو كانت هير I'm having problems again with listening. Just bear with me. Okay, so sister, I think you should uh, uh, change your hand free or something. Okay. سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم رب الشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي رب زني علما Okay, uh, I will go means to start from this sentence I don't know uh, what did we do in this sentence this is also lazim mutakhiran is not a maf'ul bihi because uh, it is just uh, telling about about the time that is means it, it is also uh, means uh, it is it cannot be counted as maf'ul bihi so I don't know what we did. So I thought to uh, clarify this. Okay, moving further, inshallah. There are two. I, I won't be asking you to go in uh, that detail. Because Alhamdulillah, you have got done a lot. Okay. Before, uh, means these two sentences, doing these two sentences, I will go to the, where is the list? Uh, yes. Uh, these are the verbs uh, we have been dealing with them today. We have used these verbs in our sentences. Like Vahara uh, appeared. Samaha allowed. And Tagayyaba uh, did not show up. Means he was disappeared. Asariru bed. Hasiba deemed. Thought. Imagined. Tarjama translated. Alema informed or told. Jara rain. Jara yajri. Ladizun delicious. Sahira stay awake at night or stayed awake. This is because past stayed awake at night. We have a sentence, uh, inshallah, we'll do that. Murrun painful or uh, bitter. Wakafa stood up. Join back. Came back near. And I will definitely ask you to go for uh, extra research of these words. Swadamat, hit. Aqaba, punished. Ta'allama, learnt. Jaizatun, prize. Alima, knew. A'ta, ghev. Manaha, gave, awarded, granted. Akhbara, told or informed. Labisa, put on. War means war as well. Albasa dressed means dressed to someone else. Albasa is mutaaddi. Lamasa touched. Tazawwaka tested. Absara saw. Samiha heard. Samiha. Shamma smelled. So these are the verbs. Uh, please go through these verbs after that whenever we are finished. Okay, coming back to two last sentences. Okay, this these are the two sentences. Okay, so brother, I'm gonna start from Sahirat Talibu Amama Amama Til Fazil Kathiran. Okay, so Sahira at Talibu Amama Atil Atil Fazi Kathiran, right? Atil Fazi TV. Okay. Sahir okay. means so Sahira, Sahira is. Uh, no, just, just translate it and tell me that it is it a uh, transitive sentence, transitive okay. verb or intransitive. That's it. This is fairly mutaaddi because fa'il and maf'ul are both in the same uh, without any uh, jar. So this is fairly uh, mutaaddi. Uh, its meaning is Sahira Talibu is uh, the student woke up. Mm. Uh, Amama means in front. In front. In, in front, front of, of the TV of the of many TVs. The student woke up for a lot of, of time. Of Kathira for a lot of time. Okay, yeah. he woke up. Kathira means means that that. Uh, 
gives something for sahira means qualifies sahira means the wake up for in front of tv for a lot of time right so student woke up in front of tv for a lot of time yes okay okay wa jara ila al madrasati rida sister rida jara ran uh it's a uh, fail uh, lazim yes very good translate what is uh, jara sir what jara rain rain acha okay. ila madrasa ji uh, <clears throat> uh it, it ran uh, he jara means uh, the uh, file is hidden it okay. mustathar Huh. Yes. Translate it, please. We cannot listen to you. Yes, sir. Rain. I you said rain. R A N. Rain. Run. Rain. Run. run. Okay. Okay. He ran uh, to the madrasa. To the towards school. the towards school. school or madrasa. Okay. Mustad, I have a question. Uh, hidden file you said is mustatar. What is visible file? Uh, visible file like. Uh, okay, we'll discuss that. Inshallah, we'll okay. discuss. That. Don't worry about that. Like uh, we with we were discussing about zamair. Now, say for example, we talk about zaraba in zaraba because it is far more mudakkar. So. It, the zamir is hidden in that that hum oh huwa. and when you talk about zaraba zamir huma is in it it is referring two persons and zarabu hum it refers three or more than three persons so hum is over there a zarabat for that is what wahid muannas ghaib so hiya hiya is mustatar in it and zarabata and because there are two females in ghaib again huma and zarabna the zamir hunna is over there when we talk about zarabta ta that is what visible ta means anta zarabta zarabtuma tuma that is the zamir for two means muthanna mudakkar hadir zarabtum tum that is what uh, it is wadih for mudakkar jama mudakkar hadir zarabti ti is a zamir for wahid muannas hadir zarabtuma again that is for muthanna muannas hadir tuma Zarab tunna, tunna is for what? Jama monnas hadir. Zarab tu, tu, it is a zamir that is also clear for wahid mutakallim. And zarab na, na is for jama mutakallim. So these are the zamar. When these zamar are hidden, so we call them mustatar. Because in others, in hadir and mutakallim, they are wazih, they are clear, they are, they, they, we can see them, right? So, and definitely for... When we use the, the sigas for ghaib, then we bring what uh, you, you might, must have uh, uh, means noticed. Then we bring fa'il. That is same. Like labisa muhammadun. If it's a labis tathawba, then definitely we are not bringing an other file. Do you understand? Ji. Clear? Yeah. Ji. Okay. Now, going again. Uh, Yes, uh, Sister Saima, go for this sentence. Just tell us, means uh, is it transitive, intransitive? What, means if transitive with one mafoil or two mafoil or three mafoil, right? And translation, that's it. Okay, so Labisa Muhammad, Muhammad al Tawba. Um, Labisa is. Um, no, no, no. Muta Just tell us, Mutaaddi or Lazim and translate, bus. That's it. Right, okay. Okay. It's Mutaaddi. Fail Mutaaddi. Translation. Muhammad wore the clothes. Yes, that's it. Very good. Muhammad put the clothes on. Okay. Yes, uh, Eman. Go for this. So this is uh, Mutaaddi as well. Okay. Albasa means 
gambar di putuan means dress someone else someone you are dressing someone else you're giving means uh, uh, making someone else to wear clothes or garment so whatever. ibrahim ibrahim put on the clothes on uh, muhammad yes alba sir read the sentence albasa ibrahim muhammad al thawba ha ibrahim dressed muhammad with the garment okay yes sister rida yes sir okay, okay just a minute there is a correction uh, this is tullab not tullabu sorry it's maftuh okay akhra akhbarat ustazu tullaba tullabal what is that this is also maftu imtihani al imtihana sarban sarban sister aapki awaaz clear nahi thoda zor se please okay okay sarban sarban sir difficult sarban ha sarban difficult to asaza it's mutaddi sir yes mutaddi because there is no um, hurf uh, zar to connect with the maful okay One, two, three maful is there at tulaba imtihana no and, translate it translate it okay uh, just tell two things lazim or mutaddi and translation that's it okay okay mutaddi and um, mm. akhbara uh, gave the news ustad gave the news is it like that ustad informed ha uh, uh, ustad in the teacher informed the student uh, mm -hmm. student um, uh, student imtihana The teacher uh, told the students that the exam is difficult, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. I was putting some preposition about the exam is difficult. <laughs> so it will become a lot. Actually, uh, sometimes in, in translation, it is very important whenever we are putting something in bracket. Now, this is what uh, a point of knowledge for you people. That okay. where there is a necessity to bring something fit with the translation means this that is what uh, the words they assist to make better translation. But we have to put those words in bracket. That does not form the direct part of the translation, but these words actually assist. And you understand means this is the way how you understand how to translate. Uh, ver means uh, verbs followed by direct objects and followed by indirect objects. Means mm -hmm. So now mm -hmm. you will definitely make the dabbar. This this document mm -hmm. will be with you. You will be going mm -hmm. again and over and over to understand these mm -hmm. things. You will spend some time on them, right? Yes, sir, yes. So this will help you. If it is a child, we will not use it in translation. This is the beginning. You will put more and more tadabbur and you will understand better way, in better way. Okay. Yes, uh, Sister Simon. Go ahead. Okay. Um, this um, sentence has an um, example of fa'al. Um, which one is it? The one at the top, sir? Which one? Oh, oh this one, yes. Okay. <laughs> I just had a brain fade there. Right, okay. This is um, fi'il um, lazim. Read it first, sister. Then you'll can see this. Read it completely. Hello? Yes, yes, sir. we can hear you. Read it. Okay. We, yeah, read it. Um, shamma al ustadu fil fasli raif. Ra'ihatan hmm. Is that correct, sir? Yes, correct. Yes? Did you hear that, sir? 
Yes, yes, I heard. Clear. Sir, did you hear that? Yes, yes, I heard. Right. Right, okay. Sorry, there's just some sort of network problem. You're getting the voice late. Right, okay. So um because of the half jar, this is fail um lazim. It doesn't no. take the no? No. You have to, you don't have to ignore or miss ra'ihatan tayyibatan. Right, okay. Um, okay. Um, oh, yes. Right, okay. So the maf'ulun bihi is um, ra'ihatan tayyibatan because the, um, the action is being done on, on the smell. Yes. Right, okay. So this is um film Yes. Translation. Okay. So um the teacher mm -hmm. a smell um a nice smell in the classroom. Okay. A nice um okay, very good. Just a minute. So, sir, can you just explain yes. this, um, yes. this sentence for me? The teacher smells sweet odor in the class. Yes, correct. Correct. This right. is right. fa'lun fa muta'addin, number one. Number two, the translation. Sir, right. why it is mutaaddi? Uh, yeah. Could you explain why it's okay. mutaaddi? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Because... Yamma al-ustadu ra'ihatan tayyibatan fil fasli or... We can also bring shibhul jumlati before the mafulun bihi. No problem. Shammal ustadu All right, okay. fil fasli ra'ihatan Oh, yes, yes. Right? I get you now. Yes, yes. No, I understand. Because he didn't, smell the, he didn't yes. smell the classroom. He smelled the order. Right, okay. Yes. Now, shamma is a verb. This this is doing of action of smelling. Who does that? Al ustadu. What does he smell? Ra'ihatan tayyibatan. Where does he smell? Fil fasli. Do you understand? Is that clear to everyone? Yes, sir, I understand. Very good. Yes, so sir. it's so it's uh mutad because of its meaning. Not meaning uh, oh, meaning, but ra'ihatan tayyibatan that comes in end that is mafulan bihi. If we can yes, also Yes, we can also change the order of the sentence. We can say Shammal Ustadu Ra'ihatan Tayyibatan Fil Fasli. So there's no problem in that. Or bringing Shibul Jumlati right after the is ism. We keep on changing the orders as per understanding. When we develop the understanding to further level, we can understand where to put Shibul Jumla. Can we put that? After this means file or not? Do you understand, Eman? Yes. Yeah. Like in English uh, sentences structure, we do that. Like I give you example. He asked a question. He asked the teacher a question. Now a teacher means uh, that that is indirect object. If we change the order, it will be he asked a question to the teacher. Do you understand? Now that will be followed by preposition. Mm -hmm. Likewise, oh, over here yeah. we can change the order, but not. But once yeah. we and keep on understanding the things, when we when we develop that, right? Okay. No. Yes, uh, Eman. This sentence. Read it first. Uh, what is that? Akala. Mm hmm. أكل الضيوف الطعام. So this is فعل المتعدي and its meaning is the guests ate the food. Very good. The guests ate the food. Okay, Sister Rida, read it. شريب الأصدقاء العصير. شريب الأصدقاء العصير. العصير means juice. 
ஓகே சரோஜோஸ் சரிவா இந்த இட்ஸ் இட்ஸ் ஃபில் முதாதி வெரி குட் அஸ்திகா ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் அஸ்திகா ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் தி ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ட்ரங்க் தி ஜூஸ் வெரி குட் ஓகே எஸ் 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 ஐ மா ஹரி அப் Right, okay, so Kattabat Tilmizu Wajibahu. So this is a fail, Muta'addi. Yes, fa'lun Muta'addi, yes. Yes, and, so, and it means um, the, um, the student, the student wrote his, um so he's something wajiba um his work homework, homework, his work homework the student did his homework or wrote okay. his homework right okay aman arata read it okay aqa ibrahim muhammadan kitaban this is failul mutaaddi and the meaning is ibrahim gave muhammad a book a book very good okay sister reza hari up atal gani yul faqira al faqira al faqira madqatan madqatan sadaqatan sadaqatan sorry sir my bad writing this is not your fault nahi nahi um hata din is not okay let's not come um it's a fail muta failun mutaddim mm-hmm. uh and uh, the ganiun uh, the sir ye hand chota sa hai hataiye na aapke paas se ji ha aapke paas se aapka thoda mouse hataiye na mouse hataun acha acha theek hai aapka ha 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 fakir ha the gani the rich gave hmm. uh, sadaka charity fakir sad hmm. yes al fakir to the beggar oh. but to will will write to in bracket right hmm. sir can i write to because it's uh, mutaddina i'm saying because we have to translate exactly. Okay. If, we, uh, if we say in Urdu, Amir Admi ne fakir ko sadaqa diya. Ko. Yeah, huh. Right? Oh, cool. huh. But we'll uh-huh. bring that in bracket. Okay. Cheek. Right? Now you don't understand that the mm-hmm. exact translation is not possible, not possible. in any language. Cheek, cheek. Okay. But in Arabic we understand. Yes, cheek. Sister Saima. Go ahead. Manhal. Yes. Is that manhal or mana'a? Manahal, ha. Okay. Manhal mudiru, uh, mudiru al-ustada ja'izatan. Hmm. Okay. Um, this is is fail mutaaddi. Fail mutaaddi, very good. Manaha, to give away, to reward, to award. Al Mudir, yes. director or principal, Jaizatan, is what? Is a reward. Uh, yes, a reward, prize. Okay. Mm. So the um the director mm. gave the um the the teacher a prize. Yes, the principal or director awarded a prize to the teacher. Okay. Okay. Yes, brother. Hurry up. L uh, M N. Second sentence. Kasa Khalidul Faqiru Thawban. This is Muta'addi, but what does Kasa mean, sir? Even means to make someone wear, give away. So Khalid made the Faqir wear the clothes. Yes, Khalid dressed the person, poor, poor man, with a garment. With a garment. Now you, understand, you should also start understanding the difference between Labisa, Albasa, Kasa. a thawb right likewise you have to means you have to work on that 
ओके सिस्टर रिदा जन्नत तालिबुल इम्ती इम्तिहाना सहलन इट्स फेल मुतादी द स्टूडेंट फॉर्ट द एग्जाम इज इजी Okay, very, very good, good. Yes, sister Saima. Correct. Right. Okay. Um, the one at the bottom. Okay. Ali man nasul haqqa murran. Right. Okay. So the people um knew that haq is the truth is painful or um yes. bitter. Yes. Very good. Okay. And, now uh, let me. Yes. Good. Now let me tell you. So is that Mutadi, some... sir? Yes, Fal Mutadi. Fal Mutadi. Okay. Now there are some verbs that take two objects after them. Okay. We are going to discuss them. When we bring Hamza before them, so they they then have three objects after them, and it is rain in Arabic, but we have to understand that. Like there, are, I'm giving you example of three words. Are verbs like alima? It takes two verbs after it. Khabara it takes two verbs after that. Raa it takes two verbs after that. But when we add hamza before them, that is a prefix, it becomes alima, and khabara becomes akhbara, raa becomes ara. Then they take three mafail after them. Hamza plus fa'lun yansibu maf'ulaini means a fail, a verb that gives a nasab to two maf'uls when Hamza is added to them equals to fa'lun yansibu thalathata maf'ayla. Yani now that fail gives a nasab to three maf'ayla, three maf'ul indeed. So these are the examples. Now we are going to them. Uh, so is that a rule? Sorry, is that a general rule, sir? Or yeah, not? This is a rule for the sake of understanding at this stage for you. So for whenever of... like um, a yeah. verb appears with a hamza before it, there will be like three of olumbi. Is that what you're saying, sir? Not, not before every verb. I say it. That's then... what I'm saying. That's what I'm right. okay. When a verb that can have two mafail after that, that can yansib, okay? Yansibu mafu'u layni, after it. Now when we add a prefix that is hamza before it, that can give nasab to three mafail, right? Okay. okay. Now, actually the sentences may be, I don't know why the scanner, uh, okay, I'll share them again. I'll share them again. But I, uh, for the sake of understanding, I'm telling you, Can you translate it? I informed. Yes. Who is from you? Um... I told the people that success is easy. Very good. Okay. Akhbaratil idha'atu. Al idha'atu means radio. Akhbaratil idha'atu an nasa. Al hafla mu'ajjalan. Al hafla means celebrations. Mu'ajjala means mu'ajjala. Everyone is mu'ajjal. And then is mu'ajjala means to make or postpone. Listen. Akhbaratil idha'atu nasa al-hafla. Al-hafla means celebrations. Mu'ajjalan means there is takhir, means they have been postponed. Yes. Who is going to translate it? The radio akhbaratu informed the people uh, the celebration is postponed. Yes. Now, you see, I've written that radio told the people the celebration had been postponed. Now, headband is in brackets. Please okay, keep on yes. noting these points. 
Okay, Jesus. Brother Eman, this is the third one. Hariyat. Alamtul Ummiyal Qaraata Mufidatan. I told the Ummi is the uh, illiterate, is it? Yes. First, you're means uh, making me wear hat, but now <laughs> come to the right so, point. I told the illiterate that which is in bracket. Uh, al Qaraata Mufid. Al Qaraata. Uh -huh. I don't know what Al Qaraata will mean. Right. Reading. Reading. Reading is beneficial. Yes, reading is beneficial. Like uh, I heard somewhere, somebody told that uh, readers are leaders. Readers are leaders. You you might have noticed that these days the, the habit of reading is it at it is at its lowest. Is that so or not? Yes, yes. It is. Yes, it is declined so much. Only yes. hearing and watching. <laughs> yes, all they do is watching. When you tell them to read a book, they're like, oh my God, what? What does that mean? 